I sense that you want to learn how to play Trust Me, I'm Psychic. Am I right? Trust me, I'm psychic. Welcome to this run through. Today we're going to show you what's in the box, how to play, and talk through some quick pointers. After that, we're going to show you a practice round so you can see what the game looks like in action. First, let's take a look at what comes with Trust Me, I'm Psychic. You'll get 40 sets of vision cards. Each set has five cards for 200 total. 40 card set dividers, one card tray, 30 $100 tokens, 30 minus $50 curse tokens, six player reference cards, and one crystal ball. And I hope you haven't tossed that out as you'll need it for gameplay. Before you play, you'll need to open the packs of tokens and separate your vision cards. Each set of vision cards has five cards, three vision cards and two fraud cards. As you can see, each set of cards, the vision and the fraud cards, contain the same symbol at the top of the card and the same exact curse words on the bottom. We'll explain those later, but for now, you can use them as a quick reference to make sure your five cards are indeed part of the same set. Place the complete stack of cards into the card tray. Then, insert a set divider in between each set of five vision cards. Now you're ready to play. First, hand out a reference card to each player. These quick guides will be helpful to refer to as you're playing. Choose one player to be the first customer. All the other players will be psychics. A round of play is over when each player is taking a turn as a customer. The customer takes $100 token per psychic. In this example, with four players, there is one customer and three psychics. So the customer should take three $100 tokens. The psychic to the left of the customer selects a set of vision cards and shuffles them. They then deal the cards face down. Any leftover cards can be put aside. Each psychic will then study their card. They will either get a vision card, making them a true psychic, or a fraud card, making them a fake. Once the psychics have had a chance to study their cards, the psychic to the left of the customer takes the crystal ball. Ooh, mysterious. The customer then asks the psychics to give a reading on any subject, money, romance, who's going to win the big game, things like that. The more open-ended your question is, the more fun everyone will have when the psychics give their readings. The psychic with the crystal ball begins telling a fortune, answering the customer's question by describing what they see on the card. If you are a true psychic, provide an answer using the image on your vision card. If you are a fake psychic, and therefore don't have an image to work with, You'll have to do your best to either make something up based on the curse words at the bottom, or if another psychic has gone before you, basing your answer off of clues you heard them give. Now about those cursed words, whether you are a true psychic or a fraud, stay away from cursed words. If any psychic, real or fake, is caught saying a cursed word during their fortune, they're given a curse token. When the first psychic is finished, they pass the crystal ball to their left and the next psychic tells a fortune. This continues until every psychic has gone. Now that every psychic has told a fortune, it's the customer's turn to decide who's real and who's a fake. The customer needs to give away all of the $100 tokens they took at the beginning of the round. The customer can choose to give one, two, or three tokens to a psychic. When the customer pays the psychic, the psychic reveals their vision card and in turn, their identity. If you pay a psychic and they reveal a real vision card, you can study it to help determine which remaining psychics are real. If you pay a psychic and they reveal a fraud card, you can still use it to study the cursed words at the bottom. But you'll have to take a curse token for each $100 token you paid that psychic. Remember, you pay psychics one at a time, and you may not pay a psychic a second time after they've shown their card to you. Once everyone has taken a turn as a customer, the player with the most amount of money, after adding their $100 tokens and subtracting their curse tokens, is the winner. Check out this sample round to see the game in action. Where do you see my life taking me in the next five years? I'm Lily, the psychic, and I see a vision. You will 
marry a girl and she will be the love of your life and you will treat her like a real prince would treat her. Trust me, I'm psychic. Mm, let me look into my crystal ball because I see a vision. I, Randosaurus, see a vision. Um, in five years, you are going to be some, kind, some form of royalty. I see you sitting in a high position um, with royal animals around you, um, chimerish hybrids of things. So you're in for a good life. Trust me, I'm psychic. Well, hi, the mystical Miss Casey. I see a vision. I see you leading something of great importance, like a king. Uh, curse word. Curse word! Ah. <laughs> Something, people will be groveling at your feet. You will be leading something of great importance. Trust me, I'm psychic. I've heard out all three of you psychics. Some of your claims seemed realistic and hopeful, while others, I think, are a little bit fraudulent. I don't know if all of you are telling the truth. I'm gonna have to give you $200 because I loved what you were putting out and it sounded very honest. Thank you. Perfect. Made the right choice there. I only have $100 left to split between you two. And uh, I don't know if you're telling me the truth. I'm going to have to go with Randy. What he was saying kind of lines up with the card. You are right. Yes. $100. But you might not be the fraud. You might be correct too, but I'm gonna have to think you are a fraud on this account. You're right about that. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Now you're ready to play. I'd wish you good luck, but real psychics already knew I was gonna say that. If you have any questions not answered in this video, visit spinmastergames.com slash instructions for more info. Ooh. I see a lot of fun in your future. <laughs>